we're finally here. It's around 6.45 p.m. We're gonna start a Massey Gap and head on up to our destination tonight to camp, which is the Thomas um, Knob Shelter. It's 2.7 miles away. <laughs> here points to AT Trail northbound or southbound and on the left where we're headed to is the Thomas Knob shelter so it looks like we're gonna be going straight up and right up ahead we've got a few ponies Back on the AT here. It's about 7.40 p.m. We started up there where I'm pointing at and made our way roundabout. And that's where we came from. And uh, just have about another 0.7 miles to go. In our, he's in our own way. We're gonna have to come go around him. Looks like we have. 
big white visitor with big horns on him. I'm not going to do a standoff. Still on the AT here. Looks like we're gonna make a climb up this steep, rocky boulder formation. We're getting near to our destination at this point, but we're gonna go a little bit beyond that just to get away from the shelter area and then find a flat where we can set up camp. All right, we're just short of the shelter and I think we found our spot. Nice little flat and in the morning, you won't see it now, but it's gonna be a nice view. Breakfast time. Woke up this morning. We're about uh, 0.1 miles away from the Thomas shelter. And uh, just to give you an idea, we've got a wonderful view from where we're at. I might have mentioned last night that uh, we'd be hitting sunrise, but actually sunrise is right behind me, so I'm not going to show that. About 50 yards away from us, down the side of this hill, is this magnificent view of clouds above these small hills and knobs and it opens up a bit further
am not lost, I will hold on. I am not lost, I am not lost, I will hold on. I am not lost. Back to the bear box sign that we saw last night. If we veer towards the right this way, there actually are a lot of flats available, a plethora that's available for any number of parties all around. So there's plenty to have. It's just whether or not if you're willing to have a lot of cows walk through your campsite then you'll be good if you're not willing then obviously you got to move on and it does open up a little bit as a matter of fact we're coming upon a herd of cattle These are longhorns. formations. This is actually where we came down from last night. It's hard to see in the night. So we'll have to walk up that short but steep boulder formation. My little pony. Hey there, buddy. There you go. Nice little fella or girl. So what we found is a glue marker that leads up to top of that cliff, which we'll try to summit. Yeah, I'm just uh, filming. I am not lost. I am not lost. I will hold on. I am not summit and get a view 36 
this park is pretty popular so you get a lot of day hikers it's sunday and we saw a fair amount of day hikers coming up seeing the ponies paying the ponies that's the main draw here if you though walk your way up to thomas knob shelter or anywhere in that elevation range then you see a, a lot less of the day hikers and you get sectional hikers you get through hikers and so forth and uh, they tend to set up camp a lot less in terms of this uh, dispersion uh, much more pleasant once you get past the, uh, the day crowd all in all though it was still fairly well in terms of crowd and uh, activity We're about just 10 minutes away from the parking lot, on to our final destination. What's amazing is that people who do the full AT, which is more than 2,800 miles, um, they chug through. This is just a small, minuscule portion of the AT. So hats off to those who hike through and complete the AT.